sleeping. you're here and I guess you want to paint, right? Mm. All right. Come on. Let's get started. <laughs> here we are, once again, in the studio office. It was in this very spot where I realized that the only soap I need is zest. This week we're going to move on to mixed media. What is mixed media? Mixed media is basically not limiting ourselves to one type of material to create our artwork. Mixed media means we can use oils, along with watercolors, along with macaroni and cheese, basically anything, you get the point. You just throw it all in and make one big, big collage. The important thing is though, we gotta get the right canvas to lay it out on. Which brings me to the tip of the day. Canvases. I'm gonna build a canvas for you or show you how to. You can get them already built and primed. It's probably the easiest way. It definitely is the most easy this way, but they can be expensive. Cheaper alternative is to build your own because you can make it any size you want and you can buy in bulk which will end up saving you money in the long run. First thing you're gonna need is the old stretcher bar. Here's two of them. They go together a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle. You just slap them in, very easy. They fit together and make an L. You put the other two together, you end up with a frame, something like this. This one's a bit smaller. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to get your canvas paper here. Now these come in big, long yards. You buy them in, by the yard, usually. They're not so expensive, but when you buy them in, in yards, you get lots left over. You can do many little paintings or a great big painting. So what you want to do is you want to get it laid out flat, put your frame on it. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna get your old staple gun here. Yeah. Fold it over. See how you just fold that there? And you basically just staple it on. There you go. Get the other side. Make sure you cut the canvas big enough to be able to pull it all over because you're gonna run into a problem if it's too small and you'll have to start over. Stable. Go from one side to the next. Alternate it and pull it tight. Pull it. Because you're going to see a little crease in here. You want to get rid of those creases. But each time you staple, each time you pull, you're going to get it a little bit tighter. Then you do the, you build your way, do the corners. Oh! Oh. All right, just a little bit of nighttime humor there for you. Anyway, so basically you get the idea. You staple it all around, it's gonna end up flat. Then you gotta prime it. This one's not ready to be primed, but we'll get the gist, where is the, anyway. Then you get your liquid gesso. This is just surface prep. See, it's gonna it's gonna take this raw canvas. Actually, you you can use the canvas raw if you want. Some people do. I, I've done pieces where it, the paint just doesn't flow very well on it. It absorbs too quickly. But in a nice little mixed media piece like we're gonna do today, it can work nice. Anyway, let's prime it. You just squirt your gesso on. Take your paintbrush, any paintbrush, thicker one wider one will do the best, save you time. And you just paint it on, doop-a-doo, doo-dee-doo, doo-doo. 
you get the point. You cover it all, cover the sides. It dries reasonably fast. You'll be ready to go in within 10 minutes and it tightens it and stick. And that's how you stretch a canvas. And if you don't want to use canvas, you can use basically anything you want. You can use papers, you can use basically anything. Canvas is the best, you know? Like I'm pretty sure that the Sistine Chapel is all done in pizza boxes. That's what Michelangelo liked to use. So I hear. Anyway, here's another thing you can use. Board. This is called Masonite board. It's a nice flat wood type substance. I've taken uh, a piece that was pre-cut. I've stuck it onto the back of a just a old stretcher bar, old frame canvas. You can get it at a hardware store. You can get it at a art store. But it's nice. It, it works well. I just stuck a piece on to an old frame I had, an old stretcher bar frame, stuck it on. And this is what I feel we're gonna use for this week's painting. So, let's get started.